what it is beautiful people it's your boy the wolf the man in black so let's get on the attack remember but we're non-combatants all right so apparently you guys really like the first um uh things they don't want you to know uh video i made so this is going to be part two and there's going to be a part three okay i'm going to look, we're going to we're going to cover some more ground remember this is all educational informational purposes only um so let's not waste any ado don't forget to check out the website. Don't forget to check out my new uh, YouTube channel, uh, the Bad Wolf Media Channel. Okay, that's where we're gonna go into more personal steps. So add me. Let's get it done. Okay, so um, <laughs> where should we start? So many good things here. Um, okay, so we'll start on the light side. So a lot of people didn't know that they moved removed the remedy which we all know is um, UC, used to be UCC 1-207 to UCC 1-308 why do they do that to hide things like that okay so that's one um, okay let's see here Okay, 1938, April 25th, the Supreme Court overturned the standing precedents of the prior 150 years concerning common law and the federal government because there is no longer silver or gold as Article 1, Section 10 of the Constitution. Um, there is no federal common law and Congress has no power to declare substantive rules of common law applicable in the state, whether they be local or general in their nature or they become commercial um, or part of tort law, Erie Railroad uh, versus Tompkins, 304 U.S. 6482. Okay, so that's why most of these judges ignore anything before that time, including like, you know, other case laws, is because after this, the game changed. All right. Let's go on. Let's see what else we got here. I look for the good stuff, so give me a second here. Okay, um, the Uniform Commercial Code is private international law that is owned by Unidroit. Okay. In the sense of public international law, the several states of the Union are not foreign to the United States, nor are they foreign to each other. But such is not the case in the field of private international law. Robinson v. Norato, 71 RI 25643. In other words, the 50 United States of the Union, okay, are publicly united with each other while privately foreign to the United States. <laughs> in other words, private international law pertains to private interests and public international law pertains to public relations between states. To simplify the events that causes some confusion here, public is private and private is public. A private law is confirmed as particular individuals, associations, or corporations. A private law can be enforced by a court of competent jurisdiction when statutes for it for it its enforcement are enacted. Statutes creating corporations are private acts. Uh -huh. In this connection, the Federal Reserve Act is private law. Federal Reserve banks derive their existence and corporate power from the Federal Reserve Act. Okay. Public opinion. 
The U.S. pays $260,000 per year to Unijoit for the use of its copyrighted UCC. So all of them who are under the UCC and, and uh, operate with it, got to pay up the ladder. But let's check it out here. Private man is not affected by public law, private law, or public law as long as private man does not harm another private man. He is not statutory but lawful. Remember, they operate in legal, we operate in lawful. Public law was converted to public policy in 1938. Policy, po pol politic, political, and police. Okay. Unidroit is owned and operated by the Vatican and they intend to enforce their religious ceremony on millions of people in the land and elsewhere. No law compels a private sector, non-governmental, privileged, work-eligible woman or man to submit a W-4 or W-9 or its equivalents, nor obtain or disclose a social security number as a condition of being hired or to keep their job. With the exception of an order from a court of competent jurisdiction issued by a duly qualified judge, no amounts can be lawfully taken from one's pay for taxes, fees, or other charges without the worker's explicit, intentional, knowing, voluntary, written consent. There it is. Okay, let's see what else we got here. It is a manner of enforcement which gives Title 42, 1983 its unique importance for uh, enforcement is placed in the hands of the people. Each citizen acts as private attorney generals who take the mantle of the sovereign guarding for all of us in the as individual rights and liberties emancipated in the Constitution. Frank Frankenhauser verse Rizzo 59 F R D 1973 commercial law is non-judicial it is prior to superior to the basis of and cannot be set aside or overruled by the statutes of any government, legislation, governmental, quasi-governmental agencies, courts, judges, law enforcement agencies, and all under an inherent obligation to uphold said commercial law. Commercial law is a war on war of truth expressed in the form of an intellectual weapon called an affidavit, which is why I made that video telling you guys how powerful the affidavit is. It is the sword, if you will. All right. Um, an affidavit is simply a written list of facts or truths signed under penalty of perjury, usually uh, notarized. The person making the signing of the affidavit is called the affiant. Whereas it stands as truth if not rebutted. So in other words, if they don't rebut your claims in your affidavit, it stands as fact. All right, so uh, there's some more things they didn't want you guys to know. I'm telling you, you guys got to get a hand, hold of the books, man. It's all in the books. It's not just knowing. It's knowing where the information comes up and being able to uh, utilize it, know it, and to hold them accountable for it. Because remember, they're just going to assume you're operating completely in their jurisdiction. Well, if they don't have jurisdiction, they ain't got nothing. All right. So remember, this is all educational purposes only. Talk to you guys later. Check out the website. Join the Wolf Pack. Um, continue uh, to get those free downloads on blacksite32.com. Check out the new The Bad Wolf Media channel on YouTube because um, there's going to be some goodies there too. So it's uh, going to be a little bit more relaxed and uh, we're just going to get down and dirty with it. So we're going to put a little dirty south in your mouth. <laughs> all right, guys. Talk to you later. Have a great day. Stay wise, stay woke. More more EDU to come from non-belligerent, non-combatant.